Been a real bonus for East Perth. Milne brings it to the side. With him was Nettlebeck. Showing pace out there is Cable, brilliantly picked up. Reminiscent of his... Fraser Gehrig to put it back into play for the Demons. Perth are holding up pretty well. East Perth are attacking hard. Perth defence standing firm at the moment, Trev. Yes, they're doing well, and they're trying to rebound the ball out. Even Nicholas, torpedo, punt the watch, pull forward, and the mark has been taken by the Cannon. Cannon's only 45 out. He goes short, and Cable got into the right spot at the right time. Gee, that was good play by Roger Perry, wasn't it, to hold that play up. Perth had a player loose in the square there, and he might have been penalised, but did it really well. Still going to get the goal yet now, Perth. Oh, he's a pretty reliable kick as a rule, Shane Cable. From 45 metres, drop punt on the way. Looks as straight as a die. Perth have got their second off the boot of Shane Cable after Pollack kicked the first. And now they're 2-1, East Perth are two behinds. Well, getting dividends for the situation of getting the ball in the forward line, you'll see here, that's Nicholas getting the ball forward. And the mark there taken by Cannon. Here's Perry, he knew that there was a player loose behind him and he just didn't let Cannon get away with it. Cannon had to pass to Cable here, and they finally got the goal, Perth, which they deserve. They've got dividends each time they've gone in their 50. <laughs> For East Perth by Swan, who kicks back towards the 50 metre line. Milne palms it down. Cable weaves his way through the pack. Here's Milne. I'm not pretty of young interest and youthful exuberance about the supporters in the WAFL competition as this man has been absolutely scintillating early, Gary. Short kick into the pocket has found Cable. One of Perth's three goal kickers, Shane Cable. <coughs> Moving towards his century of games for the Demon. Credit to Granger was what I meant for getting that ball out. This is Dyer from the back pocket, goes to half back and Cable's had a good first term. Gathered plenty of possessions, kicked the goal. And of course, as always, his foot passing's immaculate as he finds to AFL football. Only played a handful of games for Perth. As Perth try and bring the ball out of defence, Cable gets a hurried kick, but... So Jones bombs it towards centre-half forward. He's hoping for Nettlebeck. In front of him was Gehrig. Off hands, Cable. Cable, good hand pass there to McMurray. Check side kick by McMurray. Out to the wing. Yesterday hurt his hand. Oh, that's bad luck. Couldn't toss the coin, is that what you're saying? Well, couldn't do much. Nine points to margin. Kick in from Cable is a good one. As free kick up towards the half forward line for East Perth. Loving has it. Tries to fend Cable up. That's holding the ball. Good tackle by, in fact, he's penalised for a throw. But it was a good tackle by Shane Cable. He's a little too clever to try and out finesse. And he kicks straight across the face of the ground and finds Shannon. Shannon can go to Boschman. From behind, Ooh. Pollack should have held that mark. It comes back to him. He's robbed of the hand pass by Hancock. His hand, uh, hand pass is blocked by Singleton. He gets it across towards Shannon. Good hand pass to Cable. Cable from 15 metres puts it through. Badly needed goal. Cable second. Perth got a 7 8 50. They trail by 10 points. Well, Shane Cable been moved to the forward line after playing half-back flank against Scott Loving earlier in the uh, for the first half of play. But good contest there from Pollack. He was high, couldn't hold onto the ball. But Hancock there had his had his hand pass smothered. A good presence of mind from Singleton to Shannon, who under tackle was able to get the ball to Cable and look at the composure of the now veteran player. So the margin is back to 10 points now. Let's or was it Cannon? Uh, East Perth think it's their kick, but I thought the umpire indicated the other way. They've kicked into the man on the mark, taken by Cable. Cable looks back towards full forward, Helping is unattended there. Eludes two tacklers, his kick is touched. McMurray's called to play on, he was drifting around. Kicks in towards the 50 metre line, it missed Evans. Cannon has it, now Cable, he should goal from here. They can't afford to miss those opportunities. To hand pass it out, but now Perth should take it forward. Evans gets it across to Spalding. It came from McMurray originally, and the mark has been taken by Cable. He beat Hancock. It's a shining light in the forward line, Shane Cable. Luckily. A little bit of experience in that mark from Cable. From 35 metres, fairly acute angle. Good kick. 
goal. Great kick by Shane Pagel. Never looked in doubt from the moment it left his boot. And he now has four. Pagel has four. Perth stay in touch, Trev. That's the main important well, part of that goal. Yes, they do. That was Matt McMurray getting the hand pass forward. And this player, Scott Spalding, has given them something at centre-half forward against Greg Jones. And that's Shane Cable. He marks a lot taller than he looks. He's just on the six-foot mark. But he stretches high. That was a terrific kick from there. And Perth is still in with a sniff. You've got to admire the fact that they've hung in there all day. They just maybe not haven't got the inspiration. Onto a spiral punt in towards full forward. Crumb's important here. And Perth give a good contest. Faithful gets a hand pass away. Falls to Cable. Terrific snap by Cable. What a sensational goal by Shane Cable. He landed that in the square. And the ball has bounced the way he needed it to. They get the quick reply. Courtesy of Shane Cable's fifth. And maybe that goal will just spark Perth with a little bit of extra effort they need to put in to get closer wow. than where they are now. Look at this. This is sensational from Cable. There it is. That's a goal that you would love to see from Ablett or Dacos or any of those players. And Wally's right. Is this the inspiration that, that Perth need? Nine points, the margin. Cable's done his bit. Captain gets it out, Spalding to Stefan. Stefan, a good kick towards full forward. Swan is there with Cable. At the back, it's Barnard. He goes looking for the boundary. Dangerous. And the umpire has called it. That's good, consistent umpiring. And look who's got the kick. Mr. Immaculate. Five goals today to Shane Cable. And this time, he's in the right full forward pocket. A fair way out, he's about 50 metres out. Be lucky to kick this one. Drop punt on the way. The outer wing, mark taken by Dennis at the back. Plays on quickly, up in the direction of Helfen, who gets rid of Pios, and off he goes. Only two players back in the goal square. Beautiful kick, and Cable takes a strong mark. Well, so I don't know. I think, sorry, Walt, well, I think that Fraser Gehrig really should come up to the forward line now. I don't think that Perth can hold on to win the game. They've just got to try and score these three goals. And if I was David Vasco, I can understand his, his reticence to take the risk, but he's got to get him up there, I reckon. Well, he's doing it in stages. He's just moved him from full-back to centre-half back, Trev. Now, Cable, this is a tough kick, but an important one for Perth. And he's just missed. Other side of the ground, Paulson.